And the vote was unanimous that the award would, the inaugural Tom Cannon Courage Award would go to Steven Johnson because it's fitting. They're, they're so similar in several different ways. The Tom Cannon Courage Award was created this year to celebrate the life of a man who gave it his all until his final days. In the fall of 2016, Tom was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and after a hard-fought battle, passed away in 2017. Cannon was a die-hard fan of the Kentucky Wildcats and specifically the football team. We could all live and try to be half the man Tom was. Um, I think we'd be great human beings and great people. People don't know how beat up this man was during the season and still represented the University of Kentucky. Do you see this on his knee? With a couple more surgeries to go. This is courage. This is honor. This is integrity. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's humbling, you know. It's, it's very humbling uh, just to, to kind of hear the stories about Tom, to hear that the kind of guy he was. Like I said, if, if we can all be half the man Tom was, uh, I mean, the world would be a much better place. So, so to be even mentioned in the same sentence as him uh, is an honor. But it was beyond the X's and O's that made it easy to give Johnson this award. I think Steven kind of brought a new metric to football. It wasn't passing yards. Like when people talk about Steven Johnson, they're not talking about the passing yards. They're not talking about a touchdown interception ratio. They're not talking about that. They're not even sometimes talking about wins and losses. They're talking about leadership. And that is why choosing Johnson was unanimous. They thought that's just the way Tom Cannon would have had it too. He would without a doubt choose Steven Johnson. Although we have a lot of other favorite players, um, I think he really embodies this courageous award um, for the past couple years that he's been on the team. They say Cannon's lessons of courage was more than just a life lesson. He taught several of us how to live. He taught his students how to live, but he taught me how to die. And by, by doing so, he displayed courage, integrity, honor, uh, rare traits. Jack Pilgrim, Kentucky Sports Radio.